Hi, my name is Stephanie Schrager and I teach history at St. Anne's School in Brooklyn. I teach the Cold War to my high school American history classes. When I started teaching in 1994, it was really easy to teach about the Cold War because the students had lived through it. But now it's much more challenging. Most middle school, high school, and college students were not born when the Berlin Wall fell or when the Soviet Union collapsed. And it's hard to get students to understand that the Cold War was real, that it isn't something that's just the stuff of spy novels or movies and that it wasn't entirely fabricated, but there was a real fear and a real threat. I think that one of the most important reasons to teach the Cold War is that it defined an entire era. That from 1945 to 1991, most of the military conflicts that happened throughout the world were driven by the Cold War. The political issues, the elections, the society, the culture, movies, theater, television, books, music, so much of this was driven by perceptions that the West had of the East, that the East had of the West, and also of a real fear of nuclear war. And I think that's really one of the most challenging things for students, for them to understand that there was the belief that nuclear war could happen, and that due to that, there needed to be so much intelligence. One of the other reasons that I think it's really important to teach the Cold War is that in the multipolar world that we live in today, it's important to understand that the Middle East and Africa and Asia and South America were all players in a global Cold War, that it wasn't just about the US and the Soviet Union, but that lots of other countries and continents were drawn into this conflict. Another reason that I really love teaching the Cold War is about historiography, and this is where 40 Autumns comes in, which is that as more documents get declassified and as more stories get told, it's so exciting to learn that history is always changing and that history is active and that many of the things that we were taught before that I was taught when I was a student are no longer true that we have more information that shows that previous interpretations were either false or that things need to be revised and I think that students need to understand that history doesn't always stay the same and that it's something that they can be an active part of and 40 Adams really does this it tells a new story it told the story of a family living in East Germany and it told it in a way that I learned things that I had never been exposed to in all of the decades that I've been studying the Cold War. It really humanizes the Cold War. It shows the oppression that people had, the scarcity that they lived with, and the tremendous fear that people had living behind the Iron Curtain and behind the Berlin Wall. And I think that brings it back to what the Cold War is really about, which is that not only is it a conflict between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, but it became a war of ideas and of perspectives and of experiences, and that the experiences that people had living in East Germany during the Cold War were dramatically, dramatically different from the experiences in the West. And for the author, for the family that got left behind in East Germany, their lives were tremendously different and oppressive and fearful in a way that the life of her mother, who had escaped, was not. And that I think it's important for people to understand that people were willing to risk their lives and lose their lives to leave Eastern Europe and leave the Eastern Bloc and to get to the West. And so that's really why I loved reading 40 Autumns and I'm excited to use it in my classes.